This is one of the landings. So landing is uh, enlarged mm -hmm. from the normal size to receive different type of activity. And this landing is now utilized for model viewing space. In the upper level, uh, this is dining, uh, kitchen, and this is the living room. So now the, this landing, the previous uh, place where uh, the photo was taken, is uh, occupied by uh, models. And uh, this is the space. We have a, a balcony on the northern side on utilizing the uh, gap space with the neighbors. And we also utilize uh, the, the, uh, uh, the, <coughs> the, exterior, uh, the exterior wall of uh, our neighbor as a kind of borrowed uh, uh, paper wall, uh, wallpaper. So we can also enjoy the neighbor's wall as a part of the, our interior space. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, okay, in the premises, uh, the no, yeah, to create a space for non-family members, and th and then this idea can go further. In the framework of, of art exhibition, which we we participated, and this is we we were invited by Mito Art Tower, and uh, the area is very much depopulated, and uh, they have uh, many empty houses. So the curator asked us to show the way to renovate old empty houses, and but without any purpose and any any anyone any new inhabitants in the in the in the in the building. And then I found this is a silly question, silly requirement. So I insisted to find the new inhabitants for the building, and then I found this. Uh, empty property, which was uh, the property of the house, and now it's the house is gone, but the, the garden is still there. And uh, the area which was uh, occupied by the house is now occupied by weeds. <coughs> and then, okay, even we don't have uh, we don't we don't have population, human population. We have a lot of uh, vegetation population. So let's invite these uh, ve weeds into the old empty house. And based on this idea, uh, we are our direction of the renovation set. So in order to raise uh, weeds inside of the house, we should need soil. We should need sun and rain. So we destroy the roof on keeping these uh, wooden frames and uh, expose the ground, which was covered on the, by the wooden floor. And then we went to the uh, <laughs> field to crop, not crop, to dig the, the weed from the uh, roots and uh, put them on the trucks and then we in, uh, transplanted into the house. So, like this. so we call this house of weed. <laughs> so, so house can be also designated, de uh, dedicated for, for, for weeds. And then if the place is dedicated for something, we can call this house. Mm. So another example is a house dedicated for books. Ikushima Library, but this is not library, this is a house for Mr. Ikushima. But uh, since he and uh, his wife are both writers, so they have so many books in his houses. They were living in the sea of uh, uh, documents and uh, magazines and books in the uh, small apartment. So I thought the first target of this project it must be books. So I divided house into two. One for house, one for books and one for house, one for people. And then so in this uh, in this framework we ask them to imagine that okay you are the librarian. You are not the inhabitant. You are librarian of these books. And then you stay in the your library. And then they are very happy with this scenario, and then they accept extremely small bedroom for children, which is the same size of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> so the house, two house with a pyramidal roof, is covered by another big roof with a skylight. So you can see both. Uh, the, you can see the, the relationship between uh, book of the house and the book of people. And then we can also invite Pony as an uh, inhabitant. <laughs>
So this is a plan. So we, one day, uh, the woman at the age of 55, he, she came to my office and asked, I want a house after retirement. Mm -hmm. And, but she has a very little budget. <laughs> and um, her request was, I want to live, I want to, uh, uh, I want to, uh, I want to live in this house with a pony. <laughs> because she want, she's, uh, she loves uh, uh, horse riding, but uh, a little horse is expensive and to keep. So she decided to buy a pony <laughs> for her uh, uh, companion after retirement. So I found it's a very interesting idea. <laughs> and then so even, yeah, although the budget was extremely modest, I ex accepted this uh, uh, project to work together. And but uh, in, with one condition, oh, it's very difficult to make a house for you with this budget. We can probably make a garden for Pony and small <laughs> stable uh, at the corner of this uh, garden. And then you probably you can sleep in the attic. <laughs> so this is uh, a solution. So then I made uh, this rectangle, uh, uh, what do you call this, uh, paddock for Pony. And uh, we borrow the corner from Pony. To make uh, <laughs> to make a stable, but uh, this is very um, important. This diagonal is very important because it's create a maximum uh, uh, opening uh, opening uh, within a limited uh, uh, floor surface. If it is a square, I think uh, 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 the lengths of the openings uh, will be. Uh, Root to, I don't, I don't know how to say. Okay, uh, divide. Okay, and then the, the, the result is like this. Root so it looks like a stable. So on the ground level, this is uh, totally open. It's a loggia, but with floor heating. So you can enjoy staying here even in the winter time, and you can always see. You can also feed pony from inside, and uh, you can also chat with Pony. <laughs> you can also watch Pony. <laughs> and if you feel so cold, you can go up to the attic and stay here. And there is bed and bathroom. And here is a big opening covered by um, grass. And if you watch down, there is a, a room of Pony. <laughs> <laughs> 